since we're low on time, our next speaker is someone who I think kind of defies the laws of the universe because he seems to be everywhere and nowhere at the same time. Everywhere I look around, there's Lance. And then he's not there. He's, he's been an international coach for Olympic teams all over the world in the U.S. and China. He also coaches youth athlete teams in the U.S. and here locally. He inspires other people to coach teams and because he has a, a, a message bigger than himself, he inspires those people to do, send a message that, that he can't necessarily do all on his own. So I want you guys to give it up for Lance Von Stade. Hello. So I might have to, which way do I point this guy? Right over here, that direction? Great. Thank you guys for coming today. My name is Lance Von Stade, and I'm a chiropractor. Today I'm going to tell you how chiropractic can not only improve the performance of your youth athlete, but also help them to build lifelong habits that forestall chronic illness and support their well-being. This direction? There we go. Okay. The first thing I want to do is honor you for being here. Because youth athletes don't know how well they have it. They have you as their personal sports agent, their personal chef, their chauffeur. But the fact that you showed up today shows me that you're not only the chauffeur, the chef, and the agent, but you're your child's advocate. And being a child's advocate for well-being is something you and I have in common. See, from my experience in sports, I've seen a huge gap between what we want our child to get out of sports, I'm sorry, from what we expect our child to get out of sports, and what we want. What we want from sports, and what we actually get. Because what we want and expect our child to get out of sports is lifelong habits, discipline, communication, all the things that will help them be good people for the rest of their lives. In the Academy, the American Academy of Pediatrics has a committee on sports medicine and fitness that says that enrolling your child in physical activity is the initial step that builds lifelong habits that forestall chronic illness. And that's great, but that's the initial step. What happens after that? And that is what I'm here to tell you today. Chiropractic closes the gap. If you only focus on one aspect of an athlete and you don't take in the consideration of the entire body, you will be missing links and filling the gap with emptiness. I told you I was a chiropractor. I didn't yet tell you that I'm also a certified athletic trainer and a certified strength and conditioning specialist. I've worked for almost a decade now in this field at the international level. I was part of a team that was back-to-back -back world championships for water polo. I lived in Beijing and trained the Olympic judo team for Team China. This is my athlete on the right, Xu Li Li. She got a silver medal in London. And do you know what it means to get a silver medal in China? Nothing. If it's not gold, it's garbage. That's the saying. I don't know if that's a direct translation, but... It's a win-at-all-costs mentality. And I'm not just talking about China. I'm talking about sports. That's the gap. And when I say win-at-all-costs, you may think, what is the cost? What does it cost? If it's winning first, what you sacrifice as an athlete, if you don't take into consideration the whole human, is the athlete's well-being. And there are three components to an athlete's well-being. And sports does a great job at covering the physical. Sports performance, medical doctors, PTs, chiropractors, everyone's all over that. But they miss the mental and spiritual aspects of an athlete. And not just an athlete, but a human being. For some reason, when a human being becomes an athlete, they're encouraged to drop everything else and just get stronger and just get faster and win. Forget all the other foo-foo stuff. And we'll talk later why that's not a good idea.
So chiropractic comes back into the picture again because chiropractic is a healthcare system that takes into consideration the entire human being. And I didn't just make this up. I did research. In fact, I used one of the most credible sources in the human body there is. It's something that chiropractic students and chiropractors all reference. Medical students, medical practitioners always reference this. And it's Gray's Anatomy. <laughs> no, 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 Gray's Anatomy. <laughs> so every organ, system, and function in the human body is directly controlled by the central nervous system. The central nervous system is the brain and the spinal cord. A system of therapy which focuses on disease resulting from a lack of nerve function and chiropractors give specific adjustments to reestablish that connection, to remove any interference in the nerve system. So to focus on the physical for a moment, to show you how it works, I'm going to have you stand up really quick, please. So the first thing that happens, your body is a sensory system. It's full of sensors that communicate to the brain. The brain interprets the signals, your tissues adapt, and then it gives feedback and it repeats. So what we're going to do really quickly is see how your body adapts. So what I'm going to tell you to do is stand on one foot, not yet. You're going to stand on one foot, get your balance, then all of a sudden we're going to distort one of your senses. We're going to have you close your eyes. When we do that, now your brain doesn't have one of those senses and we'll see what happens to your balance. So go ahead and come up on one foot just for a few seconds, get your balance, and close your eyes. Three, two, one, and open. And go ahead and have a seat. So you guys are actually pretty good. So most of you must be athletes in the past. But a lot of people struggle heavily with that. You remove one sensory input, your brain has a hard trouble adapting. Okay? Other things that can happen. The body, if you have an injury, or if you have what's called a subluxation that we'll get to, in the spine, the body can't communicate to the brain. That signal is interrupted. If the brain can't communicate back to the body, there's another possibility for an interruption in that signal. So what this is is a subluxation. Subluxations of vertebra occur in all parts of the spine and they are disturbances in spinal nerves. So going back to that other picture, so now if you have a subluxation, it gives a corrupted signal. Now your body is not giving a smooth signal to the brain. Now your brain has to respond in a corrupted manner and it incoordinates all the movements of the body. And not just the movements, but the tissues of the body. A lot of people get hung up on physical meaning just musculoskeletal, your muscles and your skeleton. But your nervous system communicates with the entire body. Organs, muscles, tissues, you name it. And that is the cause of disease. Our goal is to help your athletes move disease into the very later stages of life prolong their life and a life of well-being. What the chiropractic adjustment does is it takes these subluxations and specifically addresses them, corrects them so there's no longer corrupted signals. They are comfortable adjustments. They're specific based on the analysis we go through, and they can be done on anybody. Just because I have a picture of a baby, though, doesn't mean that they can't be done on the greatest of the greats. And here are some pictures of people who have used chiropractic in their careers. Most likely some familiar faces. Usain Bolt, world record holder, two-time Olympic gold medalist, world's fastest man. Michael Jordan, Jerry Rice, Tiger Woods. So the big picture is chiropractic doesn't just address the sport. It addresses the human being that's participating in the sport. Now we've talked about the physical. Now to talk a little bit about the spiritual. What is the spiritual aspect? I'm talking about being something, being connected to something greater than yourself. Being a part of a bigger picture. These are three great athletes. Susie Favor Hamilton, Oscar Pistorius, Junior Seau, champions. Some of you may know the stories. 
but they're not happy endings. They didn't have the big picture. Junior Seau suffered a central nervous system disturbance, chronic encephalopathy, brain swelling from multiple hits, but because his practitioners weren't monitoring his central nervous system, they didn't catch it early enough. He committed suicide. Oscar Pistorius is right now being investigated in a murder. Susie Favor Hamilton was prostituting recently after failing to win the gold medal, failing to win the gold medal in the Olympics in 2000. This is not where we want our children to end up. And this is where chiropractic comes in, takes care of the entire person, addresses these spiritual components, helps them get attached to themselves as an individual and attached to something greater than themselves. So that when they don't win a, a medal, or they win a medal, they step up onto the podium, they look off the podium, they don't feel like they're plunging off the end of their career into nothing. But they have a system of support and an understanding of life. What's left after sport, when you take care of it, is meaning, purpose, and a connection to something greater than yourself. The mental components of a human being that we try to adapt to are positive emotion, engagement, relationships, and accomplishment. It's not a bad thing to win. It shows that all your hard work has paid off. But it's only a quarter of one-third of the big picture. And the big picture is tying spirituality to a strong mentality, to physicality. We use these tools, such as the purpose paper, to help monitor these things, and chiropractic to oversee it all. So please, think about your child's future, not about the tournament this weekend, and get your child checked. Thank you very much. All right, awesome. Thank you, Lance.